Hillsville Hotel. You know, we had a wonderful Sunday service last week. Pastor talked to us about reaching the people in our neighborhood. That's kind of like missionaries going into other countries and talking to them about Jesus. So our mission field is our neighborhood. So let's go see who lives in our neighborhood. Oh, what a wonderful day outside. Sun shining, the breeze is in the air. Oh, look, there's the grocer. Let's go see him. You must be the grocer. Yes, I am. Oh, who are the people in your neighborhood? In your neighborhood? In your neighborhood, oh, who are the people in your neighborhood? It's the people that you meet each day. A grocer sells the things you eat, like cereal and cheese and meat. Whatever food you're looking for, you're sure to find it in my store. Oh, a grocer is the person in your neighborhood. In a neighborhood, in your neighborhood, oh, a grocer is a person in your neighborhood, a person that you'll meet each day. May I sweep the front of your store for you? Oh, yes, that would be a blessing to me. Now I can work on the produce. Okay, great. Great it is. Yeah. See, you can help others by doing things for them. Hotel. <laughs> oh, hello, Dr. Nozal. Oh, hello, Cecil. Oh. What are you out doing? Oh, I'm going down to the clinic so that I can work there today. Yeah. Oh, you're a real doctor? Well, of course, it's the, yes, I am. <laughs> oh, it's wonderful. <laughs> yes. oh. oh, who are the people in your neighborhood? In your neighborhood? In your neighborhood? Oh, who are the people in your neighborhood? It's the people that you meet each day. Yes, a doctor works the whole day long to keep you feeling well and strong. But if by chance you're feeling sick, I'll try to make you feel well quick, yes. Oh, a doctor is a person in your neighborhood. In your neighborhood, in your neighborhood. Oh, a doctor is a person in your neighborhood. It's a person that you'll meet each day. <laughs> yes, that's wonderful, uh, But my mother, she has the flu, and she wanted me to ask if you would pray for her. Yes. Kids, that's another way we can show that Jesus loves someone, is by praying for them. Dr. Nozal, would you like us to pray for her? Please do, sister. Please right. do. Jesus, we see that Dr. Nozal's mother is feeling sick. We ask that you would touch her and heal her body and make her well. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, sis. You're welcome anytime. <laughs> oh, and have a good day. You too. Yes, sweeping and all this business that you do. Yes. Oh, there's the bus. I better go catch it. Huma, are you driving that bus? <laughs> yes, I am. I'm using my imagination. I'm a bus driver. <laughs> oh, who are the people in your neighborhood? In your neighborhood? In your neighborhood? Oh, who are the people in your neighborhood? It's the people that you meet each day. A bus driver works hard, you know to take you where you want to go. So if by chance you're going my way, 
I'll see you on my bus one day. <laughs> oh, a bus driver is the person in the neighborhood. In your neighborhood, in your neighborhood. Oh, a bus driver is a person in your neighborhood. It's a person that you'll meet each day. <laughs> well, Pumba, make sure you drive safely and buckle up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going for Candyland. <laughs> Well, you see, kids, one way we can show Jesus is by instruction and caring for others. If you saw a friend doing something wrong and you told them about it, that's showing them that Jesus cares. There's the postman. Are you the new letter carrier? Yes, I am. the people in your neighborhood in your neighborhood in your neighborhood oh who are the people in your neighborhood it's the people that you'll meet each day oh a postman always brings the mail through rain and snow and sleet and hail I'll work and work the whole day through to get your letter safe to you Oh, a postman is a person in the neighborhood. In the neighborhood. In the neighborhood. Oh, a postman is a person in the neighborhood. A person that you'll meet each day. Yes, I just moved here a couple weeks ago. Oh, good. I'm Cece, and here are the kids, and we're from the Kidsville Hotel. Oh, I've heard about that place. It's actually on my roof. Oh, do you all have a church that you're going to? Oh, no, not yet. Okay, well... We have many wonderful places of worship here in Kidsville, but I'd love you to come visit our church, bring your whole family, and they can sit with us. Oh, we would love to do that. Cool. Well, yeah. Okay. Well, I gotta get to the mail. Well, it was nice meeting you. Nice meeting you, too. See, kids, that's another way we can show Jesus, by inviting others to come to church with us. Well, I've been away from the hotel a while. I better get back. Kidsville Hotel! This is the house, the house where old lady Haggerson lives. We should try to look inside. Oh my goodness. I've like heard that she's totally a freaky woman who is mean and ugly and stuff. She lives here all alone and totally eats kids as an afternoon snack. Is all that true? Of course it's true. You think kids could make up stuff like that? One time I heard that she has a wild deranged tiger in there. And sometimes you can hear it at night, devouring who knows what. Robert, I'm like getting really freaked out here. Maybe we should go. Hey! It's uh. like that evil old lady person! Run for your life, brother dearest! Oh no! Uh, uh, my leg hurts. My leg hurts. Oh, no. Stay away. Stay away. Uh. Horrible monster lady. Don't eat me, please. Slow down there, dearie. You took quite a fall out there. I brought you in so I could patch up your leg. It had a little boo-boo on it. What? You mean you helped me? But I thought... What? You thought I was coming to eat you? <laughs> I've heard that one a thousand times. 
I'm not sure who started that rumor, but I love children. I get so lonely here, all alone, all the time. But why were you coming out to attack me and my sister? Do I look like I could run out and tackle people? I was on my way out to offer you and that little girl some cookies. I'm baking today, and I certainly can't eat all these goodies myself. I gotta keep my figure. Ah, you're not so bad, huh? What are you doing with a crazed tiger around here? A crazed what? Oh, you must mean my little kitty cat, Mr. Tiggers. He's been up on the roof. He's got an awful furball problem. There it goes. Oh, well, I, uh... Just make yourself at home, honey. I'll go get those oatmeal raisin cookies out the oven. And I'll dig out the tapioca flavored ice and oh, it's delightful. You'll just love it. I don't understand. Everyone said she was an awful monster lady. And she looks like a mean person. But she really just seems like a normal old granny lady. <gasps> <gasps> The Bible says in John 7, Do not judge according to appearances, but judge with righteous judgment. Grandpa? Would you want people to judge you before they even had a chance to get to know you? Appearances mean nothing to God. It's what's in a person's heart that he cares about. Be kind and understanding, not harsh and critical. Repent, and you may learn things about people you never knew. All right, dear, those cookies are already in here. Miss Haggerson. I'd like to say that I'm really sorry that I judged you before I even had a chance to meet you. I should have known better than to listen to playground gossip. You really are a nice person, and I sinned against you and your kindness. Oh, that's alright, Robert. I forgive you, and I know that God does too. Come in! It's okay, Mom. I'm fine now, and I've sure learned an important lesson. That's nice, sweetie. Thanks for looking after him, Miss Haggerson. Oh, it was my pleasure, Monique. Now let's dig into those cookies. They've got everything in them but the kitchen sink. Oh, and children. <laughs> 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 Of a sea 
is pouring through us like a flood, showing forth the praises of the Lord. Boats, trains, and planes Are bringing our children home again Coming to share the vision too Walking in obedience of truth We are flowing So you see, our mission field is big, but our God is even bigger. So, who are the people in your neighborhood? Who are the people in your neighborhood? In your neighborhood? In your neighborhood? Oh, who are the people in your neighborhood? It's the people that you'll meet each day. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> See you later, neighbors! <laughs> Bye! -bye. you like your job? Oh, it has its ups and downs. <laughs> I should have known better than ask that. Just sing. <laughs> If the building where you live is tall, then I'm just the one you want to call. In my elevator car will soar, while I take you up from floor to floor. Oh, an elevator operator is a person in your neighborhood, in your neighborhood, in your neighborhood. Oh, an elevator operator is a person in your neighborhood. A person that you meet each day. Bang.